Welcome to the fifth episode of No Root Freedom. You're watching Rapster, and in this special episode, I'm going to show you four different ways you can record your screen with internal audio without root and regardless of what phone you have. So let's kick things off with method number one, which is for Samsung phones only. But wait, I know what you're thinking. If you don't have a Samsung phone, skip to method number two. The timestamp will be on your screen right now. See, I'm not one of those YouTubers that beat you into watching the entire video. Samsung phones have a built-in screen recorder that also records internal audio, but by default, it only works in games. They made it somewhat of a hidden feature because that it's not easy to spot unless you're looking for it. To record internal audio in other apps, you have to open up Game Launcher. Inside of Game Launcher, open your game library and tap the three dots. Then tap Add Apps. I think you know where I'm going with this. Once your app is added into the game library, Open up that app either from your library or from your launcher. At the bottom, you will now see your game launcher controls where you can start recording with. Unfortunately, if you're someone that does tutorials and switches between apps, this will not be very useful for you because the recording stops as soon as you leave the app. Another thing to keep in mind is when you add an app to game library, your game performance settings will not be applied to your app. So for example, if they are set to focus on performance, it will be draining your battery by using your music app. So I'd recommend removing your app from game library once you're done recording. Method number two. This next method is very clever and works on all phones, but it requires two things. A pair of headphones or earbuds, doesn't matter if they're wired or wireless as long as it has a microphone and a call attend button. And you will also need a paper clip or a scotch tape. On your phone, it also doesn't matter what screen recorder you use. I personally recommend this one called Screen Recorder No Ads because it's free, doesn't have ads and has a good amount of features. I will have a link below in the description. Let's now close in these borders to one by one because we are about to enter the 5 minutes craft territory. Play the intro. If that one didn't work for you, let's move on to method number 3 which is audio loopback. This one is quite tedious and I've already made a video on it which I will leave a link to in the card above and link in the description below as well. In a nutshell, you will need a PC for this and an aux cord. You connect one end of the aux cord to your phone and connect the other end to your PC or laptop's microphone port. You set up your favorite audio recording software like Audacity so it picks up everything that is being played on your phone. Then you start your screen recording and audio recording at the same time, which is again very tedious work. Once you're finished, you import both files into a video editor like InShot and sync them up. But if this is something that works for you, click the link in the description and check it out. And now the ultimate method that is as far as I know, no one has made a video on or wrote an article about. So you're in for a treat gamers. What you'll need for this one is just a single app called ScreenCam, which is free to install and you will also need a pair of earphones. The app works without earphones but you'll see why you need them in a second. So here's how to set it up. Open the app after you have it installed. Tap on record audio and select internal audio default source. It sets internal audio but it also records your microphone. I don't know what kind of black magic this is, but it just works, alright? I'm not asking questions. Scroll down to where it says enable target app and turn it on. Then tap choose app and select whatever app you want to open right after your recording starts. Now let's just start recording with my audio set to somewhere around the middle and without earphones attached. Just to see how it sounds with and without. In the background, I will also play some tunes just so you get an idea of how it sounds in a noisy environment. That said, here's how it sounds.
as you can see you also hear some background noise in there but with volume set to full it can be somewhat illuminated but nobody wants to play a game in full volume let's get real here now let's plug in the earphones and just like button number two make sure to keep the call button pressed let us also keep the volume somewhere in the middle just like before and then start recording here's how that sounds What can I say? It speaks for itself. Like literally. <laughs> There's a lot you can do on your phone without shoot. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on future Nora Freedom episodes. If you want to check out all the previous Nora Freedom episodes, click the card above or click the bottom card to learn how you can speed up your Android gaming performance by five times. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.